Hey folks, uh, bow tie Dave here. I am not sporting a bow tie. I am support, sporting my Less Fear More Plants shirt from Roots and Refuge. I saw that uh, on their um, pre-order on, on the video that were describing all their new products and I couldn't resist. This was my favorite shirt. So I've seen a bunch of good ones from them. But uh, yeah, so Bowtie Dave here uh, coming at you from uh, Destin, Florida. And we uh, recently purchased a property in October. Uh, it is now September. And uh, so we've almost been here a year. And uh, we have a pretty big garden. If you've uh, had a chance to watch the, the um, garden tours, you can get a really good idea. In fact, the garden is so big, I have to do it in three parts. So be sure and check out some of the progress we've had on our, our uh, video tours. We've got some big stuff planned for the next six months. Uh, we, uh, we, we, of course, built everything. Uh, in fact, let me just show you a picture of what it used to look like. So that's what it looked like before um, we started building. And here's what it looked like after we started building. So there you go. We've done a lot of work here. That's that picture of the backyard that uh, I'm particularly pleased with. It's also at the top of uh, our Facebook page and our YouTube page, YouTube channel. But uh, if you're not over on Facebook, please go there and find Bowtie Life. There should be a link uh, on the top of the YouTube page and also at the website, um, bowtielife.me, bowtielife.me. And uh, so I uh, wanted to do a video a little bit about uh, collecting seeds, but uh, just a brief update. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of my dead pepper plants. Uh, you can see behind me, there's more up here just out of view. Um, we have a lot of pepper plants starts going here. And uh, these two are, oh, that's a Fatale. Oh, these are both Fatale pepper plants, and they're looking really, really good. Uh, very pleased with how these are coming along. Uh, we had over 50 seedlings. That we finally had success after after three attempts of 72 seeds each um we finally had some decent success and i had over 50 uh seedlings germinate i think we're probably going to end up with probably 30 and in fact we're getting ready to do a, a section of bed out in the raised beds with a uh, hoop house so that we can keep them growing over the winter out there but uh anyway so that's the seedling update but i wanted to show you something about seeds these are actually mum seeds for mums uh very wispy uh, you basically just took a dead head off of uh, one of the mums plants several dead heads off the brown when they're brown and crispy and uh spread them out on the plate um this is what we're going to be collecting today these are cucumber seeds and uh, this is for a pickling cucumber we had a uh I, I grew several bush style cucumbers this season, and one of them ended up being not a bush style, but a vining style. And so I really liked its production because it made a lot of cucumbers. So basically what happens is you let one of these things um, go to seed and it grows big. It starts turning yellow on the vine. They will start turning brown, but I find they, they do okay at this point here, um, and I'm able to grow. I also have some pomegranate seeds. Some of you know we've got a lot of pomegranates on the property, so these are pomegranate seeds. For those of you who um, know what I'm talking about, these are the seeds from the day we put these in the smoothies at church. So uh, these seeds are very dry. I've planted out most of them. Uh, in fact... Um, you can see you can almost see this black tray up here that's some of them there's more here oh, i don't want to pull that out but um it takes a long time 30 to 40 days for pomegranate seeds to germinate so i'm very uh curious to see if those will take off um but uh anyway so 
I wanted to talk about these cucumbers. And again, this is a massive cucumber. This is bigger. They're supposed to only be about this big. Uh, when you pick them for pickling, um, think of, you know, think of whole gherkins. They're, they're only so big. Uh, this, this is not much different, but if you let it grow and grow and grow, they grow enormous and turn colors. But uh, I actually had a, a post on Facebook on these not too long ago. And um, collected, in fact, that's how I got these seeds here. And these are good and dry, but I wanted to show you in video format um, how to do this. Um, so I just basically sliced this down. The, there's three sections on this. You can tell by looking at the, just the shape of it, but you can see there are seeds in here. And the cool thing is, you can see, look at them just pop out. Just popping out. They're real easy to collect. And uh, the, the amazing thing is, you know, these plants really want to grow. They really, really do. Uh, and so it's not very hard to collect seeds. Now, the thing is, not all these seeds are viable. Uh, a lot of these seeds are not viable. So I knew there was a, uh, a worm in this because there was a hole on the outside here. So I stuck this in a Ziploc bag and stuck it in the fridge for a few days. So I know this worm is either dead or at least inactive. And I found him. There's a big old cavity in here. Not a big, very big worm. But he was starting to get to some of this. I don't know if they actually eat the seeds or not. But uh, I don't know. He's he's three quarters of an inch long. So not too worried about that. I'll, I'll set him there. I'm pretty sure he's not alive anymore. But we'll see. Um, anyway, so as far as how to tell if these are viable or not, it's actually, woo, look at those come out. It's actually not a big mystery and not very difficult to figure out which are good. Now, now the thing is, you know, a lot of people, okay, so I had a bunch of things running through my ADD brain, but, um, you know, a lot of people always buy new seeds every year and that's okay. Um, to be honest, I might buy some new pickling seeds. Uh, I might bypass the uh, bushing because I just didn't have a lot of luck with it this year. And you got to play with it. You got to figure out what you have luck with and what you don't have luck with. And, Sometimes it's luck, sometimes it's skill. So you just have to learn, and I am learning. This is my, whew, look at all those seeds just popping out of there. Um, finding out, okay, so, rambling on there. Um, got me a whole mess of seeds here. <sighs> Couple of problems with collecting seeds. First off, technically, if you're collecting seeds of a particular kind, this is a pickling cucumber. If you're collecting seeds of a pickling cucumber and it was grown very close to another kind, like a suyo long, which it was grown pretty close to it, uh, they could cross-pollinate. Now, cross-pollination does not affect the fruit, but it does affect the, these seeds. So it's possible that these seeds I'm collecting might be some kind of a cross between the pickling cucumber and the suyo long. Um, very possible because this particular cucumber was hanging about four feet from my big uh, arch trellis of these suyo long cucumbers. So I have to enter in with that knowledge, knowing that, okay, there might be a problem with these seeds. But you know what? I like cucumbers. Whatever grows, if it tastes bad, we won't eat it. That's just all there is to it. And if it tastes good, uh, I mean, literally, what's the worst you're gonna do? You're, you're just not gonna eat it. So yeah, I'm just running my thumb through here and look at the seeds just jumping out of there. Woo, jumping, literally. So I might have cross-pollination. Um, it's not that I can't do this, I can do this. 
and I can see what grows. And if it doesn't grow right, we can pull it out and try again. Um, but uh, chances are, I think chances are that they we can get some good seeds out of this because uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's all an experiment. But there you have it. I have collected, I don't think there's any more seeds left in these things. Oh, there's another one. Uh, now these seeds um, have a little gel sac around. If you pick one up, you can see there's this gel coating. And uh, if you saw my Facebook post on these, um, you saw that uh, those gel sacs will separate. And looking at this mess, you say, well, how do you separate those? And how do you know which seeds are viable? Well, <laughs> it's actually very simple. And that's what the purpose of this video is. So there is some nasty cucumber. Now, all this, now that right there has got worm. That's where the worm lived. That's not, I, I wouldn't eat it. Um, ew, you know, there's a lot of good meat in here. Um, to be honest, we've had a lot of cucumbers this year. Uh, we are kind of eaten out of cucumbers. So I am not going to sweat it. But um, what I am going to do is I'm going to get all these seeds. And this is just a scraper out of the kitchen. And get all these seeds. And we are going to put them into the magical separator of seeds and sacks these little gel sacks. I don't know what they're called. There's a name for them, but I'm not a super intelligent gardener, so I just know what I'm trying to accomplish here, and I will get there slowly but surely. Um, I did see one seed, oh, two seeds fly underneath here. Um, now, you do want to keep your seeds kind of separate and labeled. I encourage that because well, I bought a package of pickling bush cucumbers and I got a vining pickling cucumber, pickling vining cucumber out of there. So somewhere along the way, something got mixed up. Doesn't matter. Get lemons, you make lemonade, right? So here is the magic tool. Okay, you see this liquid in here? It's H2O out of the faucet, it's water, that's all it is. And what happens in here, when you dump this sloppy mess in here into the water, the viable seeds sink to the bottom, the non-viable seeds float. That's it, that's it. Now, how do you get them, oh, dropped two more, doggone it. How do you get them out of the little gel sacks? you leave it in here for a couple few days. So what I'm going to do, I have a towel right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it, and I can actually already see some of the seeds are floating. I got them just in the regular ball jar, and I can see some of the gel sacks are already separating. Shake that thing up, and look at that swirl and swirl, and all the magic of the seeds. And I, I really let this cucumber, the further, you let the cucumber grow, the more viable seeds. And you can see, look at all the seeds in the bottom down there. That's a lot of viable seeds. If you're on Facebook, go look at the picture that I took of these close up. Um, just, uh, it was end of August that I posted that. And you can actually see the hollow seeds floating at the top and the full seeds float, uh, sinking to the bottom. There's a lot of goop in here. The cool thing is, what you do is you simply take this and dump off the stuff at the top. Fill it with more water and dump off the stuff at the top. Basically, you're letting this thing ferment for a couple of few days. It doesn't take long. Uh, the last batch that I, on that one that I posted on Facebook, I did it the very next day. Uh, most of the gel sacks were already separated and I just shook it real good and it separated the rest of them. That's where these came from. All good, viable seeds. So anyway, there you go. That's how you collect seeds. It is very simple. Uh, I actually see some non-viable seeds down there. I imagine it's probably because it's still got the gel sac that is sinking. But if we leave this a couple days, it will 
start to separate out more and uh, those and you'll see those more and more of those gel sacs floating on their own in their back I can see a whole bunch of them I've already separated but uh, basically the idea here is if an animal were to come by here and eat this cucumber and it goes through their digestive system that this is what happens in the digestive system it separates the little fluid sacs away from the seeds and when they poop it out they're pooping out cucumber plants everywhere that's the whole idea whether it's a rabbit or a goat or whatever it is that's what happens pigs um, if you ever get a chance to look at uh, right now Jess and Maya are moving their um, pigs uh, this is August no, September of 2022 they're moving their pigs around in the woods up behind their house and uh, recently um, just just showed a video of here's a cucumber plant growing up where the, where the pigs were here's a tomato plant grow that's the stuff that the pigs had eaten gone through the digestive system and pooped out and there is a plant growing they've got a garden growing where the pigs were the tent tent were the sowers of the seed to, so to speak so anyway yeah you can see there's a whole half an inch of uh, empty gel sacs there and basically, you know, set this on the counter by the sink, shake it up a couple times a day and let this thing settle for a couple few days. Those viable seeds will just be left over when you've poured everything off. I'll typically fill it up, uh, let stuff float out, pour it off slowly. And you just pour out slowly until look, as you're pouring those seeds get close oh, then stop, put more water in it. Basically you're rinsing off the seeds. That's all it boils down to. So that's seed collecting. That's it, it's very simple. It's true of tomatoes. If you want to collect tomato seeds, same exact process. It takes a few more days in the jar, but um, tomatoes, same thing. Uh, they, they basically ferment or digest in a jar of water. And uh, I've, I've left my uh, tomato seeds um, for like a week. Uh, some people say four or five days, it doesn't take long. So anyway, um, how about I speed up the camera and we collect some seeds from these Suyo Long and see if we can get uh, maybe this jar full of seeds. So here you can See the seeds, the bottom, the seeds and the, the good seeds are in the bottom and you can see the more fleshy stuff is at the top. I did try to spend a little more time separating out fleshy stuff because these Suyo Long are, uh, the seeds are not as easy to collect as the uh, pickling cucumbers. But that right there just amazes me, the separation. That is so easy. So there you go. Um, a bunch of uh, seeds collected from cucumbers and uh, you know this year I think we've probably spent with the new big garden I think we may have spent close to $200 on seeds for the year well it wasn't just for the year that we'll be using those seeds for a few years but um, this right here is one of the reasons why I didn't feel bad about it because I bought a big pack of suyo long I think I spent seven dollars for all the suyo long uh, cucumber seeds and I've just doubled my stock because I was able to collect. Now these Suyo Long didn't have as many seeds as that uh, pickling cucumber and they were more in the flesh so I had to take a little more time to separate them out but uh, anyway so there you go I uh, just wanted to show you what the process looked like uh, you can do this like I said you get pomegranates I've collected pomegranate seeds um, I'll do a video on the pomegranate juice sometime. Uh, we have an interesting little tool that we use. Uh, flower seeds, just mums for example. Uh, these are little tiny seeds and uh, they'll be planted right just barely under the surface of the soil. Uh, in fact, pretty soon. But uh, anyway, maybe you learned something, I hope so. Uh, hoping to just inspire someone to do something, you know, the. The only plant that get, it's, that's guaranteed not to grow is the one never sown, the only seed. Uh, I've got to come up with something there, I, I know. But uh, anyway, uh, it's, it's just so easy to 
to take control of this and make your own food. And I think that's just very important and uh, to be able to make your healthy food and uh, uh, support yourself, know how things are done like this. This is very important. Um, if for no other reason, just know that you worth something and you can do things and anyone can. So anyway, that being said, uh, we will leave these things for a few days and I'll post on Facebook a picture of the seeds that came from these two. But uh, um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Please uh, hit the like button on the video and uh, share it with a friend who likes to garden who might be interested in finding out how to save seeds. Again, this works for cucumbers. This works for tomatoes. This works for um, a lot of things out there. Uh, it, it, it works for um, peppers. It works for a lot of things that we have. Now, there are some things that seed collecting looks a little different, but uh, this is uh, one of the easiest things to do. And uh, suddenly you just have a, a supply of, of seeds for the future. And these seeds, once you get them out, get them uh, dry. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and speaking of drying, I do like these Chinette plates. They don't really stick. Um, some I've seen people use paper towels. I used to use paper towels, but you end up having to peel the, the, the seeds off the paper towels. Uh, toilet paper is the worst. Uh, napkins, coffee filters do good. Um, uh, terry cloth is not a good fabric to do this on, but maybe like a, a non-terried dish cloth. Uh, that's another good option. Um, but anyway, so thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Y'all are awesome for, for uh, sticking along with me. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, have a blessed day.